All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, officially the final ACC webinar that we're running today. Uh, for all of you here, this is a completely new product that we will be touching on. So just a little bit of uh, introduction side. Uh, so again, welcome everybody. My name is Dino. I'm one of uh, Moderna's applications engineers. So if you want to see my full name, it is Dino Karpich. So as you see it and as you say it, not cupcake, but uh, cupcake. Uh, for those of you who need a photo or for those of you who are sick of looking at me, there is my photo again for the final session. And again, I am a BIM manager and applications engineer here at Moderna. So I've worked with Moderna for now four years. Um, and we are seeing some really amazing Autodesk platforms. And today's platform that we do want to discuss from the cloud construction side is the ACC Takeoff. So this is completely new. It was a new integration acquired by Autodesk that has been now utilized on the new cloud construction platform. So let's go. There's a bit of an agenda today that we will be following. So right at the top, we are going to recap our previous four week session. We will be talking about Autodesk Takeoff and we will be going through its features such as the integration with the ACC, the 2D Takeoff, the 3D Takeoff, as well as the aggregated 2D, 3D benefits of utilizing uh, Autodesk Takeoff. And then from there, we will be doing our Q&A session and Hopefully we get a surprise guest this time around again. All right, from here, for those of you who need a reminder, the Autodesk Cloud Construction family consists of a few what's it specification tool sets that are cloud-based. The first one that we were discussing about four weeks ago was the ACC Docs or Autodesk Docs, which is a simplified data management platform tool. It organizes, distributes, and shares files with the Autodesk Docs cloud-based common data environment. And this is a bring your own license scheme. So for other Autodesk Docs users, you guys are more than welcome to host a project and invite others who have their own licensing structure as well. After we did Docs, we started talking about Collaboration Pro and coordination. So BIM Collaboration Pro is a cloud-based design uh, collaboration and coordination software that connects AEC teams, helping you execute on design intent and delivery of high quality constructible models on a single platform. So in short, this was an easy way for you to connect your web to the cloud and run an automated clash detection report from the models that are, gener uh, that are building and growing within the project itself. Last week, we did discuss the ACC build services. So it was a mobile first, powerful, simple design tool to improve the collaboration on the construction site and beyond. So taking all that information from coordination, from Collaborate Pro and from Docs into your building services as well. And now today, what we will be discussing is the ACC takeoff service. So in short, it is a quantification, but let us show you what it is quantifying. So just a bit of a background or context. We are trying to connect workflows, teams, and data at every stage of construction. So the idea here is to bring every project team together from design to plan, through building services as well as operations for the building uh, under one solution. So workflows and collaborating securely from a single source of truth. And this all requires, again, one platform that is not siloed between different uh, storage facilities. It needs to all come from one place. And for those of you who don't know what ACC stands for, it is Autodesk Cloud Construction. So let's go on further from here and start discussing the takeoff integration. So before we go into takeoff, understand that takeoff integrates with the document management system or the ACC docs in short. 
So it is a simple or simplistic navigation. It's a click and go. Navigate between 2D and 3D, your file formats uh, for all your project information and data on one side. So whatever your guys, design team, contractual team, and project team are doing, you can now integrate your takeoff QAQC information here as well. And again, we organize, distribute, and share the files anywhere on a single connected data environment. Ensure all your project teams have access to the information they need with a cloud-based document management solution. There are collaboration tools, customizable sharing and permission tools, as well as integration simplified or simplifying the process in saving this data. In terms of document search bar, this is a really cool feature that came with the ACC. So quickly find the information you need. It's a robust searching tool and it filters as well to ensure that your team finds that information quickly. So instead of navigating for the folder, you simply have to select, type in the uh, file that you're looking for. And if you have the permission set, it will then showcase. Of course, you do have a secure data environment. So ensure the right people have access to the right information with comprehensive permission tools at the project, folders and subfolder level. Automatically sync files with the entire project team needs and their access with, uh, to without permission from uh, the field for their quick ease of access into the Bin360 platform. By the way, your permission sets start in the document management process and will affect other services uh, that you activate on the ACC platform. In terms of team collaboration, you can collaborate and communicate with your teams, create issues, share markups, compare files, and leverage customizable links sharing options, such as public sharing, expiration dates, and version sets as well. And then again, when it comes to markups, showcase what the desired change needs to be. And don't just leave it at the markup. Remember, this is a fast reviewing tool. So you can install or start initializing the issues and issue management features to help promote what's accountability within the project. So it's not anymore, I didn't see this, I didn't get that. No, the ACC environment helps you find those who are accountable to close out that specific issue, do that specific job, and so forth. And again, for those of you who are project administrators on these items, you have full rights to jump in and see the activity log within the ACC platform. And of course, there are integrated viewers and now I'm not talking to those who are designing, who are utilizing AutoCAD and Revit. These are now for the QA, QC uh, personnel. And of course, the QS personnel. You have integrated uh, Excel, Word document, PowerPoint items. So long as you do have Office 365, you can open and edit the documentation on that project at that time and still have a version control over it. So again, your data is the first fundamental platform uh, for the ACC. And for that, you do have access to the document management tool. So let's talk about now the takeoff tool itself and some of its features. Again, in short, when we talk about uh, Autodesk takeoff, we are also talking about an integrated 2D takeoff functionality. So the idea here is to perform faster more accurate takeoffs from 2D platforms. So simplify your quantity takeoff process by combining 2D drawings, whether it's PDF, uh, DWGs, or anything else from there, and have the capability in a cloud-based environment for improved collaboration and an accurate takeoff. So again, this is a simplified 2D takeoff tool to easily capture project scope with a linear count and area takeoff. Generate multiple quantities and use custom formulas. And of course, there is an interactive feature tool that comes with your 2D takeoff, such as a range of digital dimensioning tools, whether it's linear, align, angular, 
those tools are available for you to use. You have the ability to go through area, volumes, perimeters, uh, in order for you to get the most accurate measurement from a room. And of course, jump between a metric or imperial system at a click of a button. So even if your system is running imperial, you can change that into metric. And of course, a cloud-based platform will do the conversions for you. And then link take off to your drawings. So as soon as a drawing is uploaded, you can link your uh, QS uh, items to that particular drawing. Again, this is a digitized 2D takeoff feature. Whether you are using either the Imperial metric system, you can capture project scope with a linear uh, or count or even area takeoff tool. Generate multiple quantities for any takeoff drawn and reassign takeoffs to different types with ease, guys. This is meant to be simplistic for you guys. Improve on how you organize your takeoffs by selecting from predefined and upload custom classifications. But we will be going into that a little bit more. So it's not just the 2D takeoff that you guys should be looking at, but of course, the 3D integrated takeoff. Not everybody is running 2D anymore. A lot of us are utilizing 3D uh, based applications. And again, this is for us to perform faster, more accurate 3D takeoffs because we are utilizing items like red, for example. As we're going through the item, notice that you can select any 3D generator, a customizable classification. Simply start your There are interactive features to be while providing your quantifications. Again, a range of not just for two, but for three in the three D space itself. And for those to see what type of metadata was installed with that window, that door, that wall, that pipe. You can go in and see the names of systems, the sizing of items, so long as that has come from a proper authoring tool like uh, Revit or AutoCAD 3D. That metadata is available for you. In terms of customizable classifications, again, that word I can't stress enough, customizable. The idea here is you can run your own classification system on the project. So if you have a range of uh, IP codes, uh, specific categories for certain furniture, building, mechanical, piping, electrical works, you can start customizing that in the cloud for your quantification and takeoff. And again, link takeoffs to the 3D models on the cloud not the 3D models in Revit or in AutoCAD or in Navisworks. This is your aggregated 3D model in the cloud for you to link your takeoffs and quantifications to. And go even further. So again, when I say aggregated 2D, 3D items, the idea is from our classifications, we can see what's happening to the asset. We can see the cost variations. We can go click and assign documentations to these specific elements within the ACC takeoff. And again, the idea of navigation is as simple as a click of a button. Go from your files to takeoff, from takeoff to design, from design to coordination. Again, it's that ease of access that stems from the document management system first. So there are benefits of the Autodesk takeoff system. And the first benefit is, again, that it is a cloud-based platform. So all your information and data is saved in the cloud with the backup. Because Autodesk has partnered with the, um, <clears throat> sorry, with the Amazon Server Hub, that information is saved for you. In case it gets lost, contact us, we'll contact Autodesk, and we'll get a hold of that uh, information. So again, nothing sits on the server. It now sits on the cloud. We have a, uh, keep in mind that takeoff is integrated to other ACC services. So the moment you activate coordination, collaboration, building services, or even project management services, 
you can activate your takeoff at any point in time to connect to those services as well. We also have the ability to collaborate with other project team members. So as secure as you want the platform to be, you can also make it open. So your QSs can start talking to architects, mechanical, electrical, or structural engineering personnel, and you can collaborate to their workflows. So the moment they upload their models is the same moment you get to run your takeoff and quantification on those 3D specific models. And then finally, it is a powerful quantification platform. Now, there are features that might just be limited to the service, but when I initially say powerful, it is the ability to interact other applications into takeoff. So stuff like Sigma estimates will start connecting with uh, ACC cost as well as ACC takeoff. So if you're running those uh, tool sets, there are abilities to bind the two together to start talking to each other because ACC is an open IP uh, web-based platform. So are there any questions? And uh, we do have a guest here today. It is Katie. Hi, everyone. Um, I'll actually uh, ask Dina to put on the camera so you can see that I am really sitting there with you guys. She's very nice. She's right here. Um, so thank you for joining our webinar today. Uh, have seen a couple of people that have joined the series of the ACC webinars that we've been running. And I do hope that they have been informative and that all your questions and concerns or anything has been answered over the series of this month. Um, again, as Dino has mentioned, if there's anything that we can do for you from Modernist side, just get in touch with us. We get to help. We get to build the relationships. We get to actually get things up and running for you as easily as possible. So the, let's move on to some questions that have come through. Um, so guys, um, again, you're more than welcome to type out the questions to us and we're going to answer it to the best of our ability. So Katie, I've been waiting for the question. Yes. Like I said, I was chatting to Nikhil just the other day and we're all about takeoff. Now, Mahil has messed around with it. He's like, Dino, did you know, if you right click on an item in the model, you can actually go select instances. I'm like, but that's a Revit feature, honestly. Absolutely. So the idea here is in Revit, you can go select instances. So the same item, like a door or a window or a pipe, but now that ability on the cloud, which is so much easier, which means that you can do it anywhere, anytime at any, instance, whatever data you need to pull off, you are able to get it off the cloud. Instead of having to have Revit abilities, you can do it right from your home, mm -hmm. the beach, wherever you are situated. Um, but it, the features that are coming out from Autodesk the last while are really, really powerful. And they're doing these sort of things to make it easier for our clients and projects and the industries to function better and move forward with less mistakes, with less cost, and just to have the ability to compete out there. I think we got a question. Would you mind reading it for us? Perfect. Does takeoff come with BIM 360 platform or only with the ACC hub? Thanks, Michael, for your question. Yeah, that is a good one, actually. ACC Takeoff is an ACC uh, standalone, well, I don't want to say standalone product. It is a product that integrates with ACC items. BIM 360, however, will not get the takeoff functionality. Perfect. Uh, I think we got another question that side. Perfect. Um, from Tammy. Does takeoff come with ACC docs? Yes, it does. So there are four major ACC products that we were discussing. The first one is the baseline or what we know as Autodesk docs that comes with the AEC collection. Correct. Then there is Collaborate Pro and Pro Plus, which also come with Autodesk docs. The what's it uh, build services come with docs and as well as takeoff. So whichever ACC platform you start with, it will come with docs so you can integrate your data with the service and feature tools that you require on the project. Great, thanks so much. I'm sure that answers your question, Tammy. Another one that has come through, 
Do I need Revit or AutoCAD to run table? No, absolutely not. So you need absolutely no experience on how to function or work within Revit and AutoCAD? You need none of that sort of training either? Well, I would suggest uh, takeoff training, but here's the reason why I say you don't need those two specific products is you actually require somebody else's model and drawing to run takeoff. So the moment somebody provides you with that data, you can upload it to your project and you can start with your QS work from there. Uh, I see we got a question from Marius. Uh, can you link your external database from Excel or export to use with uh, DynX or WinQS? That's a great question. Fantastic, Fantastic thanks, one. Marius. So this is one that I actually don't have an answer for you guys right now, but I'm more than happy to connect with you guys after this and we can start a discussion from there. Uh, we do chase Autodesk all the time to say, guys, you know what? Our clients already have an integrated system. How do we take that into the cloud with minimal effort and work? So it, it is something that we can look into, uh, into for you specifically as well. So, uh, Marius, if you can just leave us with your email address, we're more than happy to reconnect. Absolutely, Marius. Thanks so much. Leading on to Maurice's question about data, how secure is the data? That's for me, I'm, how secure is our data up there so, in the ACC table? So data is actually very secure in the sense of it can be very open or uh, very set into a specific subfolder. There is what we call a five security permissions protocol. The first one, which is the worst one, is an upload only. So you don't actually get to see what you're uploading. Uh, there's a download only, there's a view only, then there's a combination of the three, and of course, the editing function. There is a high level, but this is for the project administrators who are running that specific project on the ACC side itself. Uh, I see that we got another question here from uh, Michael. Is takeoff the same as Sigma estimates? Do they integrate? So takeoff and Sigma are two different items. Uh, Sigma is much more powerful, uh, but with the integration, yes, there is a means for integrating Sigma estimates into takeoff. So we can connect with you, Michael, and we can show you how that is done. We do have what's it, uh, two brainiacs that we leave in the dungeon here. And every now and again, we need to open that door. And just Let them out a little bit, absolutely. You know, they need some pressure. Um, but we can definitely touch. Um, base with you, Michael, and take you through the difference between Sigma and Takeoff. Do you know what other uh, systems or softwares that ACC Takeoff integrate with? Unfortunately not. I'm not much of a QS uh, personnel. I was hoping to get uh, Michiel here. Michiel knows all Fantastic. We'll make sure that we share that information with all you guys as well. Then the, another one that has come through from Lulu about when should I activate take -off, the Takeoff services? So my initial approach here, and this is controversial now, uh, whenever you want, <laughs> but uh, preferably at the start of the project, it's uh, right. you can start it right at the beginning. So as soon as models and elements are being designed into the project, take off from it. But in case you were, uh, in case you adopted the project, let's say six down uh, six months down the line, while work is still being done, you can still activate the takeoff service. Right, well. so you can still activate at any it point in time. Yeah. Wonderful. And another one um, that has come through, and I know that I have mentioned it as well, about how Modena can assist with this takeoff. Can we assist in implementing it? Do we offer training? Can we help the teams get on board with the takeoff services? So, Dino, I don't know if you want to take. Um, our viewers through a little bit of what this implementation would be, how we can get them up and running. Perfect. So if I'm not running webinars, I'm usually at a client. <laughs> <I'm laughs> so I'm not keeping him busy. <laughs> so webinars. The, uh, we are running, um, I think, uh, is, does Jay, well, he might say he can't stop us. No. Uh, so we are helping clientele now activate your Win360 and ACC hubs as as well as implementing that, because we are running an implementation and acceleration adoption for your almost online office space for collaboration, for coordination, for field management, uh, whatever you guys require, we can help uh, start that up, implement it, and train it, whether it's um, by a team session or even on site, we do it. 
whatever suits you guys. We are here to help and get you all up and running on these cloud platforms as quickly as possible with the least frustration and the least disruption. So please get in touch with one of our sales consultants or you can get in touch with me directly and I'll point you in the right direction of who your sales or your account manager is on how they can help you with these services that we offer. You know, from Moderna, we want to be more of a partner with you through these processes and your projects. We don't want to just sell you the software and then we say, cheers, goodbye, see you next year. At your renewal time, we want to build a relationship. We want to, we want to win with you. Yeah. If we can help you win, we win. And um, so please get in touch with us. We are available, email, phone, WhatsApp, smoke signals, whatever, <laughs> whatever suits you, we're there to help. So please let us know how we can. And that, that's actually awesome. We, we really do provide yeah. uh, over and above for uh, certain services. So guys, I think uh, we're going to draw our Q&A session yeah. to an end. If you don't have any questions, I do have uh, something to showcase here for you. So for more information, or if you didn't have the opportunity to ask, to ask us a question, you can contact us here at Modern AEC for your ACC needs. But it's not just for the cloud construction platform, it's for all your Autodesk needs as well. I think it's from everything from the design to construction, to build, to planning, to operate. Throughout that process, we can be there with you, holding your hand, guiding, giving advice and support, and really just being a team together that we're not just the, the cloud construction now, but we are everything from service delivery to training, to upskilling, to support, to being that partner with you to help assist with achieving your business objectives and your business outcomes. We can work together to make sure that that is achieved because at the end of the day, like I said earlier, if you guys win, so do we. Mm -hmm. And we walk away with big smiles on our faces knowing that we we assisted. And when we drive through Santon and we look at all those buildings in Santon, we think, oh, we help with that one, we help with that one, we help there, you know, and it's just, it's so much pride for us that you know, to be involved with each and every one of our clients through their projects and their processes. And guys, all this that is being said, you can find some of it on our website as linked uh, there at uh, www.modena-ec.co.za. Uh, but if you're like me and you don't like uh, visiting so many websites because they lock the web browser here in the office, <laughs> You can email me at dino at modena-ac.co.za. Uh, if you're looking for Katie, it's uh, katie at modena-ac.co.za. It's a C-A. That's correct. K-A. I yeah. can keep thinking K-A. It's K with an I. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then uh, for those of you who are a little bit old school, that's our telephone number there. Uh, and that will take you straight to our support desk. And you can say, look, I want to speak to Dino. He's he told me to call and <laughs> I will take the call, guys. It's perfect. Awesome. But before we wrap up, there is some things to know that uh, if you are going to start utilizing the Autodesk Cloud Construction Platform, keep in mind that this can be done at almost any stage of the project. So the idea here is we can go from design straight through to operations, guys. So from that conceptual design phase all the way through almost facilitating the building, there is a product here in the ACC that can help you do that. Absolutely. And that is actually really cool. Like, That's powerful. It's um, one of the things I've been enjoying now was uh, ACC assets. If I can run a webinar on that, that would be awesome. You guys heard it. He's <laughs> offering to do another one. And then, uh, guys, again, this is the way in terms of the new power-based Autodesk uh, platform. So BIM360 was the previous generation. The Autodesk or ACC item is the brand new one. Absolutely. It's right. the way of the future. So guys, again, this is the next generation of better cloud-based uh, software from Autodesk to use. And uh, before we go out, I just want to say thank you guys for your time and your patience with this series. Uh, hopefully you guys picked up a lot. Uh, and uh, more than we are more than happy to discuss anything in terms of training, implementation, uh, even activation of your Autodesk services, guys. Let us know. We are here to assist. All right. Until then, bye, everybody. Thanks again. Cheers, guys. Have Cheers. a great day. Cheers.